Hello everyone. Welcome to today's presentation. Today's question is about work and machines and in particular inclined planes. The figure below shows an inclined plane. A trolley of mass 30 kilograms is pulled up a slope by force of 100 newtons parallel to the slope. The trolley moves so that the center of mass C travels from points a to b so we have the diagram as shown and then part one what is the work done on the trolley against the gravitational force in moving from a to b then part two determine the work done by the force in moving the trolley from point a to b and then determine the efficiency of the system determine the work done in overcoming the frictional force sorry this is roman four and then for Roman 5, determine the mechanical advantage of the system. So let's begin with the first part. What is the work done on the trolley against the gravitational force in moving from A to B? So if you're working against the gravitational force, that means vertical motion. So the work done in moving the trolley vertically is obtained as m g h remember it is force times distance for work done sorry force times distance for work done and the force here is its weight which is given as m g and then the distance is vertical and therefore we have the height h of which in this case we have it as 10. so we are given the mass m for the trolley as 30 kilograms so that is what we substitute here so we say 30 times the gravitational field strength we'll assume as 10 and then the height is 10 the height that is from the level ground up to point b so we have 10 and this should give us 3000 and for work done the unit is joules well, for Roman 2, determine the work done by the force in moving the trolley from A to B. Remember the force in question here is 100 newtons and the direction of this force is parallel to the plane AB. So the work done there, work done is just force times the distance and the distance should be distance AB. So the first thing is to determine the size of AB. Now we'll consider the triangle. This angle here we saw is 15 degrees and then the height here is 10 and then we're looking for this AB. So the trigonometric ratio we can use here is sine that is opposite of a hypotenuse so we say sine of 15 degrees is equal to opposite 10 over hypotenuse which is ab and for this case ab becomes 10 over sine 15 so ab should become if you work out this 38.637 now with the distance AB, that is this part here, we can now get the work done. Work done is equal to the force 100 newtons times the distance AB, which we have as 38.637. And this multiplied should give us 3863.7 and that is joules. Well, for Roman 3, determine the efficiency of the system. Now, efficiency is given as work output all over work input and then we multiply by 100 and the work output for this case is 
3000 so that is the work done by the machine against the load that is 3000 and then work done by the effort force that we obtained as 3863.7 that is for work input so 3863.7 joules just as we had seen and then we multiply this by 100 so when we work out this the efficiency becomes 77.65 percent for roman 4 determine the work done in overcoming the frictional force so the work done in overcoming frictional force is obtained as the work input minus the work output the work input we obtained as 3863.7 minus the work output we had gotten that as 3000 and that should give us 863.7 joules so that is the work done in overcoming the frictional force lastly determine the mechanical advantage of the system so this is what we're going to do we know that the efficiency of a machine is given us mechanical advantage all over the velocity ratio times 100 but for this case we need to determine the velocity ratio first and the velocity ratio for an inclined plane is given as 1 over sine of the angle of inclination. And the angle of inclination for this plane is 15 degrees. And therefore we'll say the velocity ratio is equal to 1 over sine of 15. And from this we get the velocity ratio as 3.864 now applying the velocity ratio in this equation already we know the efficiency of the machine the efficiency of the machine is 77.65 so when you have those substituted in the equation here we have 77.65 is equal to mechanical advantage of a velocity ratio which is 3.864 and then we multiply by 100 so mechanical advantage becomes so here we're going to have 77.65 times 3.864 all divided by 100 that is if you cross multiply to find the mechanical advantage so this gives us three so the mechanical advantage for the system is three and with that we come to the end of the solution to this problem i want to thank you for watching hope to see you in the next one bye